Why are men secretive about how they feel about you? Well, there's two major reasons. First one, men are not good at sharing. We know this. They're not good at sharing their emotions. And number two is men have been conditioned to think that if they're the bad guy, the bad boy, women like them. So being the nice guy that then tells you how he feels, you're going to not be interested. And this has been conditioned over our teenage and, so, and into our 20s by a lot of women. And so sometimes that sticks with men well into their 70s, 80s. This concept is even perpetuated in one of my favorite movies. Sam, run the clip, please. When you go up to talk to a man, I don't want you to be the guy in the PG-13 movie. Everyone's really hoping makes it happen. I want you to be like the guy in the rated R movie, you know? The guy you're not sure whether or not you like yet. You're not sure he's coming from, okay? You're a bad man. You're a bad man. You're a bad man. I'm Mike Goldstein of Easy Dating Coach. Let's get into it. All right, number one, he remembers details about you. So our memory, our memories are tied much more strongly when there's emotion tied to it. So think about all the first dates you've went on over the years and all the guys you probably barely remember or barely remember anything about. But imagine the guy that really piques your interest. And maybe you're thinking, whoa, this could be my life partner. You remember things about that conversation. You remember that, you know, he has a brother that is married with two kids and lives in Boston. You remember these things. So he secretly is into you if he remembers and then regurgitates a lot of stuff about what you've told him. Number two, he is touching you a lot. This is more confusing than you think. Most of you are like, yeah, he's touching me a lot because he wants to have sex. Not necessarily true. A lot of men that are just seeing you as a sexual object are actually going to reserve the touching for when it's time to have sex. And until then, they're not going to be touching you. However, a man that really likes you, is enamored by your beauty, enamored by the conversation, he just can't get enough and he just wants to touch you all the time. That guy could secretly be into you. Number three is extended or long eye contact. Kind of like number two, when you're enamored with someone, you kind of just shut up and you look at them. And it's almost like, I'm in disbelief that I've finally met someone like you. I'm curious, what do you do when you're secretly into someone? Go plop that in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Number four is he is nervous. I can't tell you how many clients come back to me and they're like, oh my God, he was talking so much, I never want to see him again. And then I explained to him, I'm like, he was nervous probably because he was enamored by your beauty and was into you and enamored by the conversation and he was just nervous. Did he have the other qualities? If so, you can give him a chance. But nervous is good. He's filling space in the conversation because he wants to make sure you're having a good time. And we've been told if there's lulls in conversation, big open space, that's not good. It, the conversation is going dead. This is what he's been told. So he doesn't want any lulls versus a man who's not secretly into you. He'll just be like, I don't care if there's a lull. I don't care if she's having fun. I'm like, I'm just here. Number five is he sticks his chest out. Yeah, look at that. Biology over thousands of years has not changed. We use our eyes, both men and women, and we pick partners based on how long we think they're going to live, how healthy they are, can they protect children. So a man, he subconsciously just starts sticking his chest out to be like, yeah, I can protect you. Number six, he keeps the conversation going. If you're not interested, you kind of just let text, you get let messages on apps die. You don't ask a follow-up question. If he's constantly asking a follow-up question, that means he's interested. 
it's even more secretive and more obvious, actually, if he's asking questions he probably doesn't care that much about. If you were, you know, watching something that he's not interested and then he asked you a follow-up question about how your night watching The Notebook was, most guys don't care. He's asking because he likes who you are and just wants to keep the conversation rolling. Now, on a side note, this is important. You don't need to nudge conversation going yourself. You want him to chase you, so let him start the text message up. Not just out of the blue, do you just send him like, how's your day going? That's, that's not good. <clears throat> Remember, from a lot of videos, I speak about this all the time, he needs to earn you. So he needs to chase you so that he feels like he's caught the prize. If you keep showing up to him and saying, hey, why don't we do this? What's going on? How's this? He's not going to feel like he got to chase and you're taking that away from him. All right, ladies, those are your seven. Smash the like button. Be the best girlfriend ever. And if this was helpful, share it with your girlfriends. And as always, I loved spending some time with you and we'll see you next video.